For children with a hearing loss, it can be quite difficult to understand their teacher, especially younger children as um, their language hasn't developed as much as older children, so they are in a greater uh, challenging environment than older children. Other challenges to children using hearing aids are distance and background noise. One specific challenge that affects children using hearing aids more than other children uh, is reverberation. All these challenges can be overcome when using an FM system because the FM system picks up the teacher's sound directly and sends it to the FM receiver that's linked to the hearing aid of the child. So in effect the child is actually hearing the sound of the teacher directly in his hearing aid. Situations where an FM system would be beneficial in, in the nursery setting uh, would be when the child uh, is playing outdoors in nursery, uh, when the teacher is uh, talking directly to the child, for example, story time, uh, when, when there's play activities, sing-along time, also when the child is at a distance from the teacher. Preschool teachers have noted that the benefits of using an FM system was facilitated communication for both them and the child. They also noted that the child participated more in activities, most especially verbal activities. The child was much more attentive and the child seemed to localise much quicker uh, to the source of the sound, i.e. the teacher that was speaking through the FM. I'm the I've never used one before. So like I've used one for, for the last three months with Noah, uh, I find it useful the radio weight with him. We usually try and use it as much as we can in the quiet corner, obviously we're like in small groups. Uh, just so then we know that he can, he's got that like one-to-one -one as well as the group, so then he can hear um, questions, uh, answers quite clearly just for himself. Uh, outdoor play we try and use it either obviously with it being a big area, we want him to be able to hear us and properly and get clear instructions, like say if he's climbing up the slide, we want to make sure he's safe as he's doing that. Um, sometimes we will use it like at meal times, but we find that at meal times he will listen anyway because like he's sat down it's quite quiet. Um, sleep times we don't need to use it obviously because he's going to sleep. Um, other times, probably in the library area as well when we go outside of the room. We have like a library area, we try and use it in there as well. And then just like any small group activity really. It definitely makes a difference. Because usually you just think, you just feel to yourself that you in a way like he's ignoring you, but he's not obviously. You know that he just can't hear because obviously with the noise of the other children as well, sometimes he does struggle to hear. So we do find it very useful in this way. That's why we try and use it as much as we can, and obviously we know he's benefiting from it. So usually we just use it when we're outside or with the one to one activity like we did all the reading, so we can hear over all the other children but if he's just playing on the carpet we've noticed that we prefer not to use it all the time so he's got one voice in his ear all the time. Outside because it's such a big area we use it outside so he can hear us and hear the, all the instructions but inside when he's just playing on the carpet we just usually just turn it off and let him play with all his other friends and all the other practitioners but if we're doing reading time or an activity like we did this morning We'll use the radio way so we can hear all the instructions clearly or hear the story clearly and join in with any singing or anything we do like that. It's, we've noticed it's easier for Noah and he's developing his language a bit more as well. It is really easy to use. When he, when he came moved to the room, his key person who had him downstairs come upstairs and showed us how to use it, how to mute it, how to do the sound checks and just how to wear it. We found it really easy. When new people, like if we have bank staff or new staff starts in the room, when we have to show them how to use it, it's really easy to show them how to use it and for us to use it ourselves. I would recommend it because it does help Noah's language a lot. It really has brought him on because he can hear the words more clearly. So I would recommend them to use it and I would tell them that it's really easy to use and really good for the child's development. And I would really promote it to them because I've noticed while Noah's been upstairs that from when he first started he used to make noises to us instead of talking to us or shouting and it used to just get a noise or a grunt. But now over the last like nine months since he's been upstairs, he's started talking to us, shouting our names, describing things he could see and all sorts like that. So it really does help the child's development. She, wasn't, she was talking but she wasn't able to communicate with staff. 
but now she's come on and she can tell us what she wants, what she needs, communicate with the other children, so it's brought her on a lot. I feel like Charlotte's speech has come on so much, now that she can hear us a lot clearer. She's, she's, her talking's come on tons, a lot. Because when I first seen her in the baby room and then since she's moved on up here, she, wasn't, she was talking but she wasn't able to communicate with staff. But now she's come on and she can tell us what she wants, what she needs, communicate with the other children, so it's brought her on a lot. I think she's more confident in herself now that she's able to communicate and tell her friends what she wants to do, so it's brought her on a lot. I think it's really easy to use. It's not difficult, we've had the support of Charlotte's mum and a teacher to show us how to use it and we've all found it really easy to use and rewarding.